another area that I had some questions about what had to do with banking. And when you uh, sell your product to a dispensary, uh, how is that handled? We're fortunate enough to have banking in North Dakota. Uh, we work quite heavily to do that. The dispensaries currently do not pay us in cash. Uh, we are allowed to use banking. So we're much safer than a lot of other places. It took quite a few, uh, quite a few conversations, but we were able to gain banking. So the dispensaries would pay you by check or wire? Wire. Wire. For safety reasons, yes, sir. And I'm familiar with how wire process works through Federal Reserve Banks. Uh, so that seemed to be an impediment on the national level of uh, being able to use the national banks for uh, transactions involving uh, marijuana, but it sounds like that's being taken care of. No, that's a very great question, sir. But with banking, the largest issue you have with most of that is all of the institutions that are involved in it knowing what they're involved in, first of all and then the paperwork necessary to be filed. The tax code for this is uh, 280E is the IRS code. As long as everyone involved do properly documents everything that needs to be documented, everybody involved is okay in the situation. So these previous businesses that we deal with, most of which are owned out of state or what have you, they have had banking in other states so they turn around, the money they bring in has been monitored through 280, the money they send to us is monitored through 280, and then the also our institution is required to give quite finite reports on 280 as well. Are you familiar with whether the dispensaries are able to use banking in North Dakota for their? Uh, yes, sir, I am. I can state that to the best of my knowledge, all dispensaries currently up and running have banking. 